we'll talk about uh, leads and lags let us consider uh, one activity so activity A and after completion of activity A there is a waiting time and after that only this activity B can start so here there is a waiting time so here this is a waiting time we, we call it as a lag for example if this is pouring concrete after pouring concrete we have to give 8 hours 8 hours of curing time after that only the next activity can start in this case we call this 8 hours as a lag a lag always stretches the schedule so a lag is a waiting time so here we say between activity A and activity B there is a waiting time now let us try to understand lead now here there is, a, 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 there is an activity A and activity B can start when activity A is almost 80 percentage completion in this case okay now here there is an overlap so this is a lead L-E-A-D a lead is always parallelism that means a lead always compresses the schedule whereas the lag always stretches the schedule so lag is waiting time and lead is all about parallelism uh, another example for lag could be uh, after applying for PMP exam there is a 15 days processing time so that is a waiting time that is a lag uh, whereas <coughs> uh, when your preparation is 80 percentage completion uh, maybe you can start uh, practicing the exam uh, or when the application is a 50 percent is done maybe you can start practicing the practicing for the final exam or when the requirement is 80 percent is complete completed you can start with the design so these are examples for lead thank you